So this is an apparatus first used by Desagulier to show the principle of levers. So I've got a very simple lever system set up here. We've got a lever across here with two masses on them. And I fixed a 30 gram mass two units away and a 30 gram mass two units on this side. And of course because the weights or the masses are the same and the distances away from the centre are the same, we have this beautiful perfect balance. Now I'm going to move this one over here, so it's going to be three units away, but I'm going to take a third of the mass away, and of course we still have a balance. So we've got 20 grams here, three units away, 30 grams, two units away, and so the whole system is balanced. So you get the idea with levers, that it's the ratio of the masses and the distances away from the centre. We can create a lever system so that we can balance a heavier weight using a smaller weight but further away from the centre. So this is the principle of levers. So this is the first lever which has got a ratio of 1 to 6. So if I put the 10 gram weight on the end here it should multiply up the forces created by this weight six times. We can connect that to the second lever which has got a ratio of 1 to 4. So that should multiply up uh, 6 times 4, 24. And we can connect that up to the final lever, the third one, which has got a ratio of 1 to 5. So we should get a multiplication, multiplication of 5 times 4 times 6, which is 120. So 10 grams multiplied by 120 is 1,200 grams. So I've got a 1,200 gram weight here. I'm going to put this onto the lever. And you can see, actually, it all balances beautifully. The other thing you notice is that I'm balancing a 1,200 gram weight with just 10 grams. If I move this by adding just a few more grams, you can see that actually the really heavy weight does move, but hardly at all. That's because it's actually moving 120 times less, which is how the levers produce their mechanical advantage. So this is the great mechanical advantage of levers.